Hi, I'm Bob LeCary, Product Line Manager at FIS. Welcome to Out of the Box. We have a new mini handheld OTDR called the Atlas. It's a great single mode troubleshooting and certification tool to use for testing out in the field. It's a nice handheld compact unit that has a SC APC test port with a visual fault locator as well as a power meter. The OTDR port also doubles up as a light source um, output to do loss testing with the power meter. The unit also has a USB port for that you could utilize for the optional uh, add-on accessory of the microscope inspection probe that will work with the unit as well as a uh, micro USB port to transfer the data. Starting with the array of different features on the unit, it has your standard OTDR, your optical power meter, your visual fault locator, the laser source, a network cabling test for copper continuity testing, the optional fiber inspection microscope, the event map which allows the OTDR test results to be displayed in a picture graph um, that makes the interpretation of the data much easier to understand for the novice tester. It also has a, an application to do bidirectional loss testing if you want to utilize the power meter and the light source all in one. And there's your system settings and your file management. So first off, going into the OTDR section, you have your standard OTDR graph here. And as you notice, this, um, this nice um, durable touch screen here allows you to go into your parameter settings to test your 1310 wavelength, your 1550, or you can also choose to shoot both wavelengths one after another uh, to be saved um, one after another on your, in, in your system files. You have the option to change your testing ranges as low as 100 meters up to 100 kilometers. Your pulse width settings goes all the way down to 5 nanoseconds, which is very useful for very short testing runs of cable. But you also get enough power to go all the way up to 10 microseconds, which is 10,000 nanoseconds, to shoot up to um, 100 kilometers of, of, of distance for that, for that 100 kilometer range. Here's your test time duration, 10, 15, 30 seconds. It has a real-time function, which is a good troubleshooting application within the OTDR. It also allows you to customize your testing time length. Okay. You can utilize the lengths of your launch cable to program the length of your cable in. You just input the, the, um, the length of your, your, test, uh, your launch reel right here and you just put how many events you want to be referenced out before you get your actual test cable and it also has a very useful receive cable uh, referencing um, section where you can put in a receive cable at the end of your at, at the end of your test cable that allows you to test and certify the last connector on your test so your launch reel will certify and test your first connector on test and the receive cable will allow you to do the same thing on the last connector. And here you can change the unit of measurements from kilometer to kilofeet or miles. The unit also gives you the ability to have automatic um, pass-fail threshold settings. Or if you want, you can customize them for non-reflective events, for reflective events, for the entire link of cable, and here's your pass-fail thresholds here, where you can test, where you can customize your reflective event dB loss, your non-reflective event dB loss, and also the type of reflection uh, that you want to pass-fail with this as well. They're all listed here. If you want to adhere to any of these standards, you simply keep the box checked. If you do not wish to pass-fail any of these sections, you just simply uncheck the box uh, like so, for say for total loss or for uh, reflection is now checked. So if the box is checked, the pass-fail threshold will be active. Uh, these thresholds up here are for detection thresholds. So any attenuation that is, for example, lower than 0.15 dB, the OTDR will skip over it. Anything that's 1.5 dB and higher, it will mark as an event. Uh, the same thing will go with any reflection loss thresholds, as, as it's noted here. 
If you want, you can just simply go back to the default parameters and you kind of start off as the unit was new. For this first section, I'm just going to do a quick test on the OTDR. So um, I would go into the parameter settings, make sure that I have the correct parameters. I'm hooked up to a box that's roughly four kilometers long. I'm going to test at 1310. I got my test range at five kilometers, my pulse width at about 20 nanoseconds, and I'm going to test this for 10 seconds. When I got all my parameters set, I just simply go up here and push test. And now my scan will run. Takes about 10 seconds, as you can see. You see the reflective events there. Might be a splice in there somewhere. And there is my event table. So by using the arrow keys, I can highlight and look at the different events on the screen. So right here, event number one is the end of my launch reel, which is 103 meters. Here's my uh, dB loss my reflection value. I go to the next event here down at about 1104 meters. We have a uh, 0.25 dB loss with a um, that, that's a non-reflective event so you do not see any reflection given. And as you can also notice going back to that first event you can see the high loss there. It's pointing out 0 0.8 that is marked in red because it is a failing event on the fiber. Okay, uh, then we just scroll down to the rest of our events. Here's another reflective event, negative 49 dB reflection, your 0.24 dB loss at a roughly 2100 meters, and then our end of fiber at about 3100 meters, and that is our end of fiber. Um, this unit will automatically save the trace that I just did, that I can set up a, a certain file folder matrix saving system to allow me to, every, every trace I take, I have the option to automatically save it into my file folder that I chose. Now, if you do not have much experience looking at OTDR scans, and this data may look a bit confusing to you, uh, we have the event map application, where again, we just go into test, and it will run a, a similar scan, but the only difference will be is that it's going to show me on the bottom of the screen when this is complete um, breaking down the OTDR trace data into a series of icons and pictures that again make it very easy to interpret and understand what's happening on the cable. As you can see very easy to look to see and understand. The touch screen is pretty responsive to highlight each event so over here we have our start of our fiber and then 103 meters later we have a mated connector pair as you can see um, on the little icon screen there and there is our highlighted data in yellow and then we go about 1.1 kilometers down the cable and we have a a bad splice or it could be possibly a bend because uh, this uh, this scan was taken um, at 1550 which will show you um, additional attenuation at a bend of a fiber. So it's always good to test at both wavelengths when you're out in the field. But as you can see, these little icons here make it easy to understand and identify what's good and what's bad. As you can see, green icons are passing, red icons are failing. If you get a blue icon, it's unable to pass nor fail that event. The reason being is this first connection coming out of the OTDR can never really be fully certified because it's the beginning of the OTDR launch. And then our end of fiber down, down here at 3.1 kilometers, it's the end of the connector, an open-ended connector, and that cannot be certified because there's simply no other connector connected to it with fiber coming after it. But the event map or, or GMAP uh, software that we call it um, is, is a great tool for the um, OTDR tester that lacks um, experience in interpreting OTDR traces. With the onboard software for the visual inspection microscope, it allows you to get a, a good microscoped image at about 200x magnification of your uh, connector end face. So you can determine if the, if the connector is cracked or scratched or just needs a simple cleaning. This fiber clearly has some dirt or debris on it and it would need to be cleaned before plugging it into the OTDR. As you can see on the screen, you can adjust the brightness or contrast. The other applications on the unit that are conveniently built on board is the optical power meter. 
Here's our optical power meter where we can switch the wavelength from 850, 1300, 1310, 1490, 1550, 1625, and 1650. You can zero reference. You can uh, then, once you zero reference, you'll get your, your, um, your, your dB loss power once it is referenced. Okay, and if we want to supply a light source down the cable, here is our light source. 1310 and 1550 are the two light sources that you can use. You can also change the frequency from constant wavelength, 270 hertz tone, 1 kilohertz tone, and 2 kilohertz tone. Pretty standard for most for most um, laser sources. Um, if you wish to do uh, combined loss testing, you can utilize the light source and power meter together on the unit and have your fiber looped on the far end. Or if your cable beginning and end is in the same position in front of you, you can utilize it that way. This is a nice tool to allow you to either test the spool of the cable, or like I was saying, if you have someone on the other end to perform a loop back from fiber one to fiber two, you can test both fibers in one test, but you cannot separate them. If you need to separate them, you have to use the power meter on one side and then a separate light source on the far end. Okay. Um, our system settings, different languages that are available, the backlight, you, you, can do, you can set the auto power off to, to occur, date and time settings are there, um, any upgrades that might come down the road, uh, they will be um, uh, sent out on a USB drive or able to be downloaded off our website, then put on a, a USB thumb drive to put on the USB port and the unit will look for an upgrade file to utilize and perform the upgrade within a matter of seconds. To purchase the FIS Atlas Mini OTDR, go to FiberInstrumentSales.com or contact an FIS sales representative at 1-800-500-0347. Check out our channel and hit the subscribe button for new videos.